Hello, this is Palico Page, and welcome to another episode of Curious Expedition 2. We are in 1892, and we have just done the first expedition. I, w I want to say, am I right in saying that this is the best run we've had so far on on camera, on director mode? I don't know. If it, it feels like it, I, 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 I wouldn't say we're completely confident, but we've definitely got a good composition as it stands right now and we've got to get to do the best thing that i like about this game right now and that is go shopping so uh well let's crack on shall we oh percy's gone percy Fawcett congratulated me on a job well done giving me a firm farewell handshake he hoped he would have the opportunity to work together again in the future mm, you're a bit shady percy if i was gonna be completely honest with you didn't make my life that easy if i was gonna be completely blunt but hey ho never mind let's hold no grudges you never know when we might need him again. So, at the end of the last episode, I said I wasn't quite sure on whether I'd be keeping both the dinosaur and the doggo. And, well, we got stuff here we can get rid of, that's for sure. I mean, how are we looking? We've got green, blue, red. We have green, green, blue, red, green, and red. And that'd be green. It's blue actually struggling a little with at the moment. But that's okay. That's okay. I mean, we could go for the Shamanic Staff. They don't really do anything, really. Combat status 30% increased damage when using Cutlass with a Pirate or a Sailor, which we don't have. However, do we have... Hmm. I was going to say any one of use, but it looks like... No. Not at all. But that's okay. Never mind. We'll leave. So, uh, Shady Dealer, do you have anything worth doing? Oh, bag of treats. A pouch contains delicious animal treats to be given as a reward for good behavior, satisfying for both man and beast. I mean, it's something, isn't it? It's not, it's not ideal at all, really. Cutlass, cutlass, cutlass. I mean, what is it if I were to sell you three and two? Well, they are worth quite a considerable amount. I mean, for the sake of having a couple of spaces filled up in our inventory for the next expedition. Probably for the best if we kept them. This, I mean, it's not a lot. I suppose every little bit helps. I would have preferred a, a an, att like an attacking... Uh, equipment of some sort. No, I'm not going to do it. We're going to we're going to hold off. We're going to hold off. I mean, I don't think there's anything we can buy, which is going to help us here anyway, animal-wise. I mean, ooh, get the corgi on the go. No, no. Yeah, we got that to that point yet. So no, it's just upgrades. It looks like all we're doing is upgrades. So with that being said, da da da. -da, -da. Right. So let's get you up. 14. 13. Yeah, it makes sense to, again to get as many die faces as we can. So we'll go for you and you. And then it's 18 and 18. So I need 36 tickets next time around. Wowza. All right. Okay. Well, something to aim for, I guess. So uh, Exposition 2. Here we come. And we are doing the Monster of Legend. We've heard that a great beast of legend could be found on this distant island. Bring back proof of its existence. I mean, at this point, we've done the caverns. I think... And we're going to have enough on our plate with the, the beast himself, itself, herself, oneself, themself. I don't know. Uh, let's do drylands. We can see a little bit further. We're going to take the hit as far as the um, view distance is concerned anyway. It was my last night in Paris and I decided to celebrate over drinks. It was a raucous night at Busso Cassier and I could see Yoka Dizzy wanted to make it a memorable one. He hands me to a game of dice. Whoever lost would buy drinks all night long. Well. 
not the best, is it? I mean, what, is, 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 does he like us? Yeah. Ugh, do it. <laughs> no guts, no glory. Yoki Dizzy sat back, stunned before erupting into laster, uh, laughter. In the morning, he bought me a bottle of fine spirits to commemorate our upcoming adventure. Nice. Well done, Molly. So, off we crack. I mean, as I say, I'm not quite feeling having the two animals in, especially as they're not equipped with anything. But, well, what's the worst that can happen? We can die horribly. That is the worst that can happen. So, what do you have? Do, 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 do. I mean, how much are these worth selling now? Do I get full pelt for these? I do. Well, let's, let's see how this pans out. So, we want... Medikits, the torch, protective hat. Yeah, I'm not that first. Um, five of those, that leaves us with five. I think I'm going to play a little bit protectively here. I'm going to give you that. Oh, is that my item saying? No, I'm not. I'm not going to give you anything. I'm going to give you not a damn thing, good sir. Not a damn thing, because I can't. Um, <laughs> oh, we need water. Good, good, good. Nothing like filling up your inventory space before you begin. The Royal Avalon Society had heard of a tale of a monstrous spider. Ooh, on this island. Rumoured to be the size of an elephant. I was to find it and prove its existence. Expanding the knowledge of science. For science, I tell you. For science, I'm going to do our study stuff as well. Oh, yeah. All right. So, oh, we have the natives quite close to us. Quite, quite close. How are we for inventory space right now? Or. Okie dokie. In which case, let's crack out Juby. Obsidian shard. Nice. You know what? Back to the ship with that. I mean, that's just free fame all day. Uh, no, press the wrong button. Cool. Right, and then Tinker, the cunning tonic. Cool. Right, so right now we are being pulled all over the place. It looks like the island's going to go a little bit further north seems to be a new region around here so let's well let's make our way towards the villages so we need to discover the tribe type that we can do right now we encountered a small hunting party in the wild they approached cautiously spears at the ready radiating suspicion I felt pinned by their stares Perhaps they had never seen a Westerner before. The leader demanded to know what our intentions were. Beg to go. I'm not begging anyone. I'm not begging anyone. The red and the green. We can intimidate with blue. <laughs> Offer to help. Why not? Do I throw a green in? No. I'm feeling confident. Boom. They welcomed me to their hunt and I proved myself valuable when I managed to take down a wild animal on the run. Boom. They cheered my success. Hurrah! And we shared the spoils of the hunt. Meat. Right. So, ask about the tribe. And they are... They told me of their mighty god, responsible for both bountiful times and catastrophes. He inspired love and awe in equal measure. Hunters did not want to tarry further. They disappeared silently into the wilds and soon it was as if they had never been there at all. Cool. Got a little bit of meat and a quail. Awesome. Right, so do we stick to the beach or do we make our way inland to see what the bloody hell's going on with these question marks? I mean, probably makes sense at this point. 23? 26, wow. Hmm. Or 17 and get covered in tar. I can live with that. I mean, it doesn't work. Oh, no. Oh. Doesn't work out too well out for the uh, 
for the dinosaurs, but that's fine. Well, you know, we, we've got a brain between us, I'd like to think. So, elephants. I don't like this. Elephante. In my pocket. Right, let's go back. All the way back. We'll, we'll just drop them off and just avoid pirates. Uh, just avoid, you know, people generally. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing. Storage, get rid of you. We'll have a quick rest. As we prepared to settle in for the night, we were approached by a group of islanders. Oh, you appear to be, or oh, two of you appear to just be floating in midair. They'd come to see how we were doing and offered to share their supplies with us. So. Right. I mean, we're at six standings. Then he's give, give them our supplies. But why not? Meat, berries, berries. Thank you very much. And they're singing. And we're dancing. Go. Cool. Are we overburdened? We are not. Soon will be, though. Okay, that's fine. All uh, right, uh, on... No, 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 no. On to the next. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. Coming across all these things, which are giving us lots of stuff straight away, is great. However, however, um, we're going to run out of space here. So let's, uh, let's see to you. Yes. Yes. Splendid. Had to think about that. Right, so. Oh, pirates. Uh, we came across a very special looking shipwreck as I inspected the vessel with awe. A group of pirates surprised us. Once our initial worry wore off, we noticed they were only skeletons. Surely that'd be the first thing you notice. You know, if you take away the worry, it'd be like, ah, skeletons. So therefore, you'd know about it straight away. It wouldn't be like, ah, pirates. Oh, they happen to be the undead. You know, that, that's what I think would... Uh, personally, that's what I would prioritise. The, the skeleton part over the pirate part. Have you ever tried stabbing a skeleton? It doesn't work out very well. Uh, let's, uh, let's... Trade for treasure? No, no, no. Don't want to get distracted. Ooh. Unless there's gold. Don't mind being distracted by gold. 45. And the torches and the whiskey. What's that? Can I give you... Shamanic staff? I can. Level 4. Oh, level 5. So if I was to have you, and you were to have you, that works out quite nice. What about pills? No, oh, I like the pills. I'm not that first. Good deal. Um, let's have a look. One of the pirates asked me where we were going. His name is Zachariah Selu Marks, and he wanted to leave this place. Apparently, he had unfinished business somewhere. Not dead, can still fight when mortally wounded. Undead, immune to poison and bleeding. But he's an alcoholic. And he's got green and blue dye. Which is a self-taunt. And a vulnerability, which I do like. Capacity of two. Who do I get rid of? Do I have to let go of Waldo? Is that what it's come down to? I mean, I could always let go of the dino. Yeah. I think we have to let go of the dino. 
So we'll take on the pirate. Gar and all that. Uh, and uh, we shall leave. So we have too many trait members. So Missy, it's been great. You're a big girl now. There's, you are the apex predator in this place. There's no other dinosaurs to eat you. You are the one. I mean, as long as you keep away from the spider, you'll be fine. And we're going to go kill the spider anyway. So just hang out near the beach until we kill it. And then you can then become the big beast of the island. I, I, I can't be any fairer than that. Okay. Thank you for your service. Goodbye. Dismiss. I drove the beast into the wilderness. Oh, that, that's so harsh. I just feel like a little pat on its bottom and... Off, off it walks, looks back long in the attis and looks to its freedom, and carries on and a little tear comes to our eye. That's that's how I like to picture it. Cool. And the other thing is now, oh, you can be promoted straight away, can you? Is that all you? I mean, makes enemies vulnerable when attacking. That is handy. Then again, the cooldown on you is good too. And then again, oh, you're both alcoholics, so you're both going to hate me after a while anyway. All right, okay, so we'll we'll, we'll do Yokodizu because he's been with us the longest. There we go. Uh, but we give you that for increased damage. It's oh, it's all working out so lovely, and we should have some space as well now. Two. Okie dokie. Uh, what you got for me, Juby? Star fruit and tinker box. Oh, tis a flute. Cool. We can move on, but we're staying away from the elephants. We learnt from last time. Uh, Twenty seventy. You? Why the bloody hell not? Pirates. Aha. Dry lowlands. The entrance to a tomb is barely visible among the dunes. I steel myself to enter the crypt. I descended into the tomb. Mankind has not set foot here for hundreds of years. In the center of the room lay a stone sarcophagus. Uh-oh. Mmm, jewelry and a dead person. You're fitting well here. Right, so. Let's use the horn flute. Let's... Eat the blueberries. And, uh, should we finish off with a fight? Be rude not to. Two undead! Is that it? Is that it? Well, they're both vulnerable for 25%. We'd be silly not to take advantage of this. Oh. He's got a self-taught. Or we could really throw the vulnerables on someone. What do you do next time? Pointed shot. Which is a self-stun. Or sword slash. Okay. So let's do that. Onto you. 64. What will we roll? 79, 79. We can really boost on that. We'll keep those. 10, 13. Oh, it's a bleed. Okay, let's see if we can kill this guy. 33, 45, so he should be dead. Yes. And... Yeah, best going for the big hit and the one bleed. No! 28. He's not going to bleed that much. I will recover in two rounds, then you'll pay. Oh, maybe you will. Wow. Cool. Do we keep the heads? No. Oh, black powder pistol. Very powerful pistol, but slow to reload. Damage of 13. Ooh. With a self stun as well. Hmm. So the only way to actually get that used up to its full potential is to have two red die rolled at the same time. But you'd still take damage of two. 
damage 36. Bowser. Well, we could sell it at the very least. Uh, da, 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 take all. And, uh, well, that ended well, so we'll end it here. It's always good to end on a high note. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.